Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have Biology Form 2, Lesson 24, whereby your tutor will be uh, Mr. Gerard. We are going to handle the topic on the gaseous exchange under the subtopic diseases of the respiratory system. Remember the respiratory system that is, is the one that is responsible in the transportation of blood all over the body and there are some diseases which normally affect it. Uh, we are going to have the following lesson goal whereby uh, by the end of the lesson you should be able to identify at least three respiratory diseases. The first respiratory disease that we are going to look at will be asthma. Whereby uh, we can say um, actually uh, asthma is a common respiratory uh, disease. Um, asthma, I am going to show you uh, the lungs of somebody who is asthmatic and uh, i'm going now to give you the uh, actually the causes of uh, asthma asthma is can be caused by an allergy of respiratory structures to allergens such as uh, pollen grains atmospheric dust animal fur or some certain drugs two asthma can also be caused by lung or bronchial infections by bacteria or um, viruses as you can see from our lungs they are infected so this one can result to uh, someone being asthmatic the respiratory problems come in forms of attacks, which are mid and also severe. Whether, uh, when the weather is um, either cloudy or chilly, or uh, you are being exposed to the causative agents, which we have uh, listed, whereby the causative agents we have said are the respiratory uh, allergy of respiratory structures and also bronchial infections, the attacks are more frequent. The patient may have difficulty in breathing because of the constrictions of the bronchioles caused by muscular con uh, contractions. The patient therefore produces a characteristic a whiz whizzing sound accompanied by feeling of suffocation. And I remember that uh, in every disease there must be um, an option of it being treated. So like at least we see how we can treat and control um, asthma. One way of controlling asthma is by spraying of muscle relaxant directly into the bronchial tubes. Two, you can have injection of drugs or oral administration of pills prescribed by a healthy physician. Three, we can avoid the causative agents. Uh, the second, um, the second um, respiratory disease that we are going to discuss here is known as the br bronchitis. Um, bronchitis is an inflammation on the bronchial tubes. There are two types of bronchitis, namely we have the acute bronchitis and uh, we also have chronic bronchitis. But in our case here, we are, um, in our, diag our diagram here is representing somebody who is uh, ours got acute bronchitis. I'm going to explain as we are watching the diagram, but we are going to follow what I'm explaining. Um, actually, normally the acute bronchitis, this one, is normally caused by one a complication of the common cold when one is exposed to low temperature, especially in high altitudes. It results in the chilling of the body, giving way to bacterial infection. Two, another cause that can bring about the acute bronchitis is that a complication resulting from previous disease attack, for example, um, the measles, the whooping cough, or something like the influenza. The clinical symptoms of acute bronchitis are include, if you feel the following um, Symptoms you can uh, be having bronchitis and it will be advisable. You see a physician, headache, mid fever, and coughing that are com accompanied by uncomfortable feeling behind by uh, behind the sternum. The illness may clear in a few days or may persist for several months. Let us now see because we have said there are two types of the bronchitis. We also have um, the uh, the chronic bronchitis, whereby the this develops after several repeated attacks of acute bronchitis. So the first type of bronchitis that is likely to um, you are uh, likely to suffer is the acute bronchitis. Then uh, after after several attacks, you can now suffer from what you call the chronic bronchitis. It is a fatal condition which makes the sufferer disabled and and, and unable to work. Some of the symptoms of the uh, chronic bronchitis are production of a thick sputum that is gr uh, g uh, yellow in color due to pus from the respiratory surface. Two. Uh, the patient has difficulty in breathing and finds it difficult to walk or sleep unless propped up in bed to ensure that the bronchioles are not uh, clogged. But remember, you have said that uh, every disease has its its cure. 
So we are now going to look at the treatment and how we can control uh, acute bronchitis. This one can be um, controlled through one. The patients should seek medical assistance when the illness is still in the early stages to avoid complications. That is, when we say the early stages, we mean that if you feel the, um, the signs of the acute bronchitis, you must go and see the, um, the physician before it uh, reaches to the stages of the chronic bronchitis. Or administration of appropriate antibiotics prescribed by a qualified medical pra uh, practitioner. And now, our third um, respiratory disease that we are going to look at will be the oofing cough whereby this is a disease that results from an acute infection of the respiratory tract and it is normally caused by a uh, bacteria known as the bon uh, Bordetella pertussis and the disease is commonly actually um, around the world. The symptoms of whooping cough are 1. Prolonged coughing and vomiting 2. We can have what we call conjunctival hemorrhage accompanied by periorbital or edema 3. We can have uh, severe bronco pneumonia, that is affect pneumonia affecting the uh, bronchias. We have convulsions and coma, ulcers and cardiac failure. We can have um, malnutrition signs for protein and energy deficiency due to repeated vomiting and uh, difficulty in breathing. We can, um, for, for, to for control and uh, treatment of a hoofing cough, one, uh, the complicated cases should be admitted to hospital for specialized care and administration of antibiotics. Two, proteins should be fed on a balanced diet. For control, children should be Im immunized at uh, early stage. Remember that whooping cough is an immunizable disease. Having said and um, done that, you can, uh, um, for more information on the lessons of the um, respiratory system, you can refer to KLB 2017 Secondary Biology Students Book 2 which is the 4th edition Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this uh, lesson and more of our bio biology lessons, you can send us an SMS uh, through the um, SMS that is on our screen, or you subscribe to YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or you send us a message on our Facebook page, which is Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. You are, you are much welcome and thank you for watching.